method. So I'm watching the debate between Dan the Man and Eternal Boxing Gods. They're debating Floyd Mayweather's legacy against Evander Holyfield's legacy. And I gotta tell you, that's that's a hell of a fucking debate, man. It's really good. It's getting hot. And right right now, it was gonna go on into the, the Q&A where, where they ask each other questions. And I just wanted to pause it real quick and... And give my give a bit of a random thought, not not a not a total random thought because this man did fight today, but it's a it's a thought on Guerrero, and I just realized I should have realized this when I should have realized this when when Guerrero fought, fought Martinez, but I just realized this right now. Guerrero is officially a gatekeeper. He is no he's not in any level higher. Then uh, Jesus Soto Caras or a Zab Judah at this point. A Zab Judah that fought with Danny Garcia and gave Danny Garcia a lot more troubles than Guerrero did. People want to say it's a robbery. Hell nah. That fight wasn't no robbery. It was born as hell, but it was no robbery. This fight sucked, man. And Guerrero's thing was the pressure. He pressured Thurman the last four rounds of his of their fight. But once he couldn't do that against Garcia, I'm like, that, that's that. It's over. That was his game plan. That that's what he was supposed to do. He was supposed to pressure Garcia, and that's why uh, it could be argued that he was winning the first half of the fight. But the second half of the fight was completely dominated by by Garcia. You can't even you can't even argue that Guerrero lost the fight, and he's done being a prize fighter at this point. Don't give him any more title shots. Just give him young bucks. The best opponent he should be fighting next is uh, Aero Spence. I want to see where Aero Spence is at, and if Aero Spence could actually knock this guy out. That's a really tough fight. I don't really know if I just said I'd like to see him fight, but Guerrero's been through enough wars lately, and maybe I'm backtracking a bit from that statement, but if he's going to fight a big, a big fight, I want to see it against a young up-and-coming guy, not, not against an established world title challenger, and I don't want to see him getting these type of paydays. I don't know how much money he made, but I'm sure he made a pretty good money in his last few fights. Maybe except the Martinez fight. I mean, that was a headline on a <laughs> that was a headline on a Sunday afternoon. Jesus, man, Guerrero's done. Uh, I don't know if exactly if he should retire. I mean, he still got it. He could go twelve rounds with anybody, really. I I don't see anybody at what. Maybe Keith Thurman, if they had the rematch for some reason, maybe he could knock him out. But I don't see anyone knocking him out. If Errol Spence could knock him out, that'd be really impressive. But, yeah, I just wanted to give that thought. Guerrero is officially a gatekeeper in the level of uh, Jesus Soto Caras. Maybe worse. I don't think, because he didn't rock. He didn't rock um, Keith Thurman the way Soto Caras did. Though he did have a huge hematoma <laughs> in their fight. But, yeah, thanks for watching. And what do you guys think about this? Did I realize this pretty late? Should I have realized this maybe before the Thurman fight? Has has Guerrero been a gatekeeper for a while? Leave your thoughts below. Thanks everybody for watching and have a great night.